After five days of testimony with more than two dozen witnesses, the prosecution and defense have wrapped up its case in the trial of a Springfield woman charged with killing and dismembering her husband. ABC News Channel 20's Liz Foster has been in a courtroom from the start. The jury is still deliberating, and Liz joins us now. Liz? Right now, the jury is deciding whether or not Watasha Denton McCaster is guilty. About 45 minutes ago, the jury sent the judge a list of questions. They've now been deliberating for about four hours. The victim's family is here outside of the courthouse, anxiously awaiting a verdict. 24-year-old Denton McCaster is charged with seven criminal counts, including first-degree murder, dismembering a body, concealing a homicide, and obstructing justice. Today, in closing arguments, prosecutors painted a picture of Denton McCaster her unhappy in her marriage, citing her journal entries. They said it's evident she had a plan to kill her husband and broke down a timeline from Google searches on her laptop about how to kill and get away with it, to putting eye drops in his drinks to poison him, to buying supplies to carry out the plan that investigators later found evidence of in her trash, to borrowing a gun and shooting him in the head before dismembering him and dumping his body parts. The defense argued Den McCaster did not kill her husband. The case is strictly circumstantial and tried discrediting the sheriff's office's investigation. As the victim's family members await the jury's verdict, they have already convicted Denton McCaster. How heartless could you be to do something like that? Well, my brother loved her regardless of what any of us have to say about her. Do you believe she's guilty? Oh, uh, no. Prosecutors also tried exposing lies Denton McCaster said to people who testified. Tonight at 10, the different stories she allegedly told people about what happened to Norman McCaster and an odd change she made to divorce papers. Live inside the Sangamon County Courthouse, I'm Liz Foster for ABC News Channel 20. All right, Liz, thanks very much. We'll continue to wait for a verdict in this case. If convicted on all counts, Natasha Denton McCaster could spend 60 or more years in prison.